Yeah, so I was racing towards the sun, but I can't seem to catch it. I'm kind of driving in the dark now. If you have a ship that can pick me up, and my and and my dragonfly by chance, we could lift off and go to Shubin or something. I'm loading into the game, and I'll, I can bring my cutlass. I ditched the the freelancer. And self, yeah, I mean, it's self-destructing. All right. Let me get a nice little parking spot here. So, ah, uh, cool. Um. Uh, yeah, I almost fit a cyclone in the back of that thing once. The I back of what? Never, I haven't tried putting dragonfly in it. In a what? A core. I got about half a cyclone in it once. Alright. If anything, at least you can pick me up. Somebody just flew over me. So where are you going, Shubin? Uh, I was thinking Shubin. If you need me to move to a flatter area, let me know. Oh, there you are. Probably want to turn on your headlight. Nox or X1 Force? I'm thinking X1 Force. My battery's dead. Shit. Yeah, something is just fishy about this whole NVIDIA launch. <laughs> Say where you are. Whoa. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, don't come out the bag. Wow, the bike did not like that. Let me, see, let me try one more time. Nice. What do you think the next big ship is going to be? The Hammerhead? No, no, no. Not in the game. I mean, like, the next concept. Well, they haven't pulled it out yet. They don't usually... If they, they, they announce it... <laughs> No, no, no. That's what that's what I'm saying. What do you think would be the next sort of thing that they announce? Oh, I don't know. I'm hoping it's that Drake supercarrier. I want that thing so damn bad. Let's see if I can get off of it without dying. Yeah, that's about as far in as I can get it. Let's see if you can li lift off. Can I have I'm, a party invite? I wonder if I can crouch around this thing. Here, let's try this. I'm going to try and get up to the front seat where you are. Yeah, I crawl, I'm crawl. i crawling under it. <laughs> Do any of you work in food service? All right, I'll stay in the hallway and watch it when you take off. I think it is no. Oh, I don't know if I I don't know if I would have closed the door. It seems to be behaving. It didn't like it at first. Uh, Shubin.
Yeah, it's behaving. Go ahead and uh, change configuration again. I just wanted to see if the thing would stay put. I just phased the staircase of the port, sir. Help. Uh, jumper, go ahead and change configuration real quick. Yeah, the shape of the ship. Put your landing gear down. There we go. Hey, Vreen. Jump, jump in the co-pilot seat here. Vreen. All right, go for it. Now you can switch. Yeah, when you change configuration, it closes the, the bay door. Yeah. Oh, read and left. Shit. Uh, can I have an inv re invite from one of y'all? Where is it? Maybe. Where? Oh, there's the power button. There we go. I don't get to get in the lower seat very often in the core. Can you can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. Okay. Is, I'm just wondering if my mic is up or something. A little quiet, but. Uh, how about now? There you. That's a little better. Okay. Can I have a party invite? Assuming I'm even in your game, I joined off Reedin because I thought you guys were in the same game. Do you see a MiG-47 in chat? Yeah. Okay, same game then. Yeah, I don't see you online, so you must not may have me on my friends um on your friends list. Um F eleven right alt. You gotta add everybody on the everybody that you see. What is your thing about Uzi? Is same, it the same as, as, as in Discord. Discord. Yeah. Okay. And who are you? <laughs> I don't have Discord up, so I can't see the name. Kaboom. Wait, I have you friended. Yeah, I don't. It says you're not online. Maybe it's because we were in a party before. I thought I had you friended. Kaboom. Boop. I have added you. It still says you're offline. My Drake has no doors. Great climb. I kind of, I thought I heard something that said they're going to make the cores, they're going to update the core and give it a little bit more cargo capacity. I'm pretty sure I saw that in the roadmap too, like it's not there now, so I think they might have moved it. Yeah. I know the news van is supposed to come out in like 3.4. The Herald. No, the the Reliant Mako. Oh, right. 
The Herald's already out. Looks like there's a constellation down there. That's me. Uh, okay. I just got it. Still back there. Are there going to be no fly zones on certain planets so you can't use your ship? Yep, yep. Ah. So essentially. Well, I mean, you could probably use your ship, but you might get shot down. There are entire star systems that are no fly zones, actually. The org I was a part of, we were planning to set up in the Lear system, which is this nice system and had already known jump points. And one of the places you could jump to was a UEE quarantine system. Nice. That would have a whole bunch of tech that you could steal if you had like an endeavor or something. You extract the stuff you want to use the endeavor for to research new stuff. And like as soon as you enter there, you get full criminal status. Damn. Which which system? The Leia. The Leia system is where we were gonna make our base. That's not the system that's um taken out. Who's Connie again? Who, who is this? Criminals. Criminal. You got me on your friends list? Yeah, uh, I do. <laughs> well, for all well, of you that wanted to know, you can put a dragonfly in the back of a core and you can travel with it. We actually behaved pretty well back there. For our eyes, I, I thought such a, a confined location would freak it out. I got a Nox um, stuck to the side of Aurora, and we quantum drive with it. So how do you lower the cargo bay? Um, there's you'll see up at the up on the top of the the gangways. There's little tiny switch boxes. Also, on the outside of the ship, on the tail end, um, there's a little red button. So if you're outside, you can open it. Or if you're on the inside, if you're outside on the gangplank or in in the actual storage area, there are switches. You'll see little red little button switches. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Found it. So you notice on the little sides of this thing, there's a button switch here. And there's a button switch on the opposite side. And like I said, up above where the, the walkways are, there's little switches where, right where the staircases are. Yep. That will control it. This is just made in flight. <sighs> yeah, it's a nice ship. I got one too. I like the yep. Andromeda. No, this is uh, the Aquila. Oh, is it the Aquila? I thought the Aquila had a different color. Based off the hard numbers from the hardware, it's looking like we're going to get a 10 to 15% boost in graphics cards. So it's not worth the price. So basically, we'll have to wait another year for them to come out with a new set of graphics cards, if not two. So I had it. 
how do you shut this thing then? Uh, okay, so see on the, the right above your head, on the thing, kind of like where the ship's, I don't know, anus would be. See a little red dot? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. That that button is the the thing for the door. Ah, oh, gotcha. There you go. You just put your finger in the ship's butt. <laughs> That's the way. Ooh. Yeah, but it worked. It made it close up. <laughs> you going to put a rover in it? Yeah, I'm going to go spawn the rover. That'll work. I haven't seen one of those before. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll fit. The question is, will it behave today? Some days it behaves, some days it don't. That's okay. Where do you spawn your shit? So there's a yeah, you're heading in the right direction. There's a little blue building over there. You see it? It's got a little uh, pad next to it. Pad on. Yep. Yeah, that's the one you want. I tell you what, the constellation handles like a pig. Do you? I went from flying oh, a perfect. cutlass. To flying a caterpillar the other day in Excel. I always refer to the, the constellation series as the fat lady on ice skates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how does a reclaimer handle? Uh, a lot slower. It's probably the worst out of all the ships you can fly right now. But it's also the biggest and the heaviest. So it makes sense. Yeah, flying it, flying in an atmosphere, I can say, is different than any other ship you've ever flown. Oh yeah. It, it does not like being in an atmosphere. It can you do it, but it it's a struggle. You reclaim. You gotta, you gotta put all your power to your thrusters, and then, yeah. Hmm. Overclocking your thrusters to get off what Damar I think it is. Yeah. You have to almost exclusively be in VTOL sometimes. I mean, that kind of makes sense from an orbital standpoint, though. Well, I mean, that thing weighs hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of metric tons. It's huge. It's armored. It's, a, it's a tr basically a trash truck. It's designed to take a lot of punishment and abuse. It's like, yeah, at what point do we do we start sacrificing convenience for realism and for sim? Because it is officially a space sim. Like, there, we don't have to have a certain speed in orbit to not fall. Like, as soon as we're out of the planet sphere of influence, we're not moving with it anymore. We don't have to actually be orbiting. I don't think anybody will, I don't think anybody will de debate the aerodynamics of a reclaimer. Yeah, I'm just... I, I almost wish that like the stuff like poor Olisar or anything that's supposed to be going around a planet actually moved and orbited instead of just all staying still. Like if we ever try going to Yella, it's always in the same place in relation to Olisar, and it feels kind of odd to me. Well, yeah. When did they get the guns on uh on P or SPK? Here, I'll lower the gang plan or get, lower the cargo bay for you. Thank you. <clears throat> Definition, what does V stand for? Looks like you're in. You ready? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're good. Now I just got. I'd come out the back door. Yeah. It looks like it's behaving. It went forward. Yeah, it rolled forward a little bit, but I think yeah. you're still okay. Hold on. Let me run to the front and look. Uh, no, your nose is a little too far forward. There you go, right there. Yep. Not bouncing. That's good. Jeez, it, does, it takes up all the cargo, and doesn't it? Yeah. The um the Taurus is almost double the space though, because I think it come the the back section comes back to right about here. So the Taurus holds a heck of a lot more. But it doesn't have the same combat systems that the the, the Aquila and the Andromeda have. So now you close it and cross your fingers. Oh, see, oh yeah. wow! And Perfect. Yeah, you that, got that, it. That, that'll improve this. That was pretty case. painless. Is that thing hovering in the air, or is it? Yeah. So my hover bike? Oh, are you talking about the no. core? Mm. Uh, it's, yeah, there. Now it's landed. Yeah, the uh, the Taurus, you have to give up the snub fighter. Mm, yeah, you can't use that yet anyway. Yeah, but you get a ton more cargo space. Yeah. Well, um, I wanted this for other things. I mean, the scanning station doesn't work. So I'm not too sure how that's going to work. Yeah, but when it does, it'll have an advanced scanner in it. I still want to get a Terrapin, though. I killed a pirate on the way down, too. So, are we going exploring with your Ursa and your. Um, what are we doing? Yeah, so so what happens here if um, I log out in the bed? Does everything disappear? So, if you log out in the bed, I wouldn't log out on the pad, but if you log out in the bed, um, you can log back in, and your Ursa and everything will be in the ship. All right. Because it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, and I really got to go. <laughs> but I, I wouldn't... If you do, I wouldn't do it on the pad. Hey, Why not? Why don't it just disappear? Um, the, it may store your ship. Even though this is not a normal place you would store your ship, it used to be. You used to be able to spawn a ship. So I would, if you're going to go, if you're going to log, I would lift off and get off the pad and then log in your bed. Should allow you to log back in into your ship with the Ursa down below. But it it's kind of a kind of a 70% chance of working. It, it yeah. works quite often. It just, you know, doesn't work sometimes. Well, there's it's some beds that still don't work also. Well, I've, I've done it in the Constellation. I know the beds work.
let's see if I can let's see if I can take a stroll underneath. I did not die. Yeah, it was close. I shaved a shaved my hair off my head on that one. But not dying is good. Always a plus. Not always guaranteed with my character, but All right, this is my fleet. I think it's finished. Cutlass Black, Prospector, Ursa Rover, Cyclone AA, X1 Force, Gladys, Saber Raven, The Eclipse, Nova Think, The a2 Hercules, and lastly the Karak. Nice. I will be eliminating. I will be eliminating some, especially the ground vehicles. I, I think I, I think I have too many ground vehicles, but I think that's a very medium to long term mindset. And most of these don't cost a lot at all. So, what do you guys think? I think the A2 comes with a uh, tank, right? You, it does? Or is yeah, you have to buy it separately? The A2 comes with... Oh, no, it comes with a Cyclone, I think. The A2? No, oh, the yeah, A2 yeah. is the big gun one that comes with a tank, I think. Doesn't it? That's the top of the line That's one. A, oh, okay, the A2 is the top one? Yeah, it comes with a tank. Okay, then. Well, uh, as long as I have it here so I know. And then the second tank wouldn't hurt, to be honest. Can't carry two. I know. So one. I, I just I just have it here uh, to be able to identify. So what do you guys what do you guys think? What should I eliminate? Read it out again. All right. The cutlass black. So I'm upgrading Mara to my to this cutlass black, and then I will get the prospector. I have the Ursa Rover, so Ursa Rover, the Cyclone AA, so air to air, X Force One, which is debatable, Gladius, Saber Raven, the Eclipse, the Nova Tank, the A2 Hercules, and the Karat. That would be all. That's a that's a good that's a good fleet right there. Pretty good lineup. That's a lot of that's a lot of money. About fifteen hundred to eighteen hundred bucks, maybe two thousand. Yeah. A laptop costs about a good laptop costs about two thousand dollars. So that's, that's that's not bad at all. Yeah, a set of golf clubs cost two thousand dollars. So, you know, it's all relative. Damn. People look and say, "Shit, you've spent two thousand bucks." I'm like, "You spent two thousand glo." Bucks on your goddamn golf clubs and give me the shit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play this game as much as you go golfing. Yeah. Yeah, you spend more time in, in the house and plus uh I am a portable gamer, so the whole idea of sitting around I can just bring my game wherever I go. So this is awesome. Whoa, I better spawn another vehicle. Well, so what do you, you guys think what do you guys think about the ground vehicles? I think I have too many ground vehicles. I think the X one might be too much. I might want to get rid of that one. Like I don't know too much about the X1 yeah. myself, but it's a bike. Just think of it as a motorcycle. Plus, it, it can fly. It doesn't have to stand on the ground, right? It can go SCM mode, I think. Okay. Okay, then I have a pretty powerful team. That's a good match, man. Good luck on that one. That's a lot of bucks. I was I was starting to do it's well let, when I look at this most of them are actually Ooh, not either. over awesome sauce like overwhelmingly um, of, of these are not really that that pricey at all they're about from a hundred bucks 
a maximum. The ones that are really pricey are like the the Eclipse and the Nova and the A2 Hercules. Yeah. So that's the those two are really the ones, and they're not gonna come on for quite a while. So I'm gonna work on getting those guys, and that's about it. Let's go. Cool. And if I need to get anything else, I will destroy the old ones and then move upgrade it to another one. I will not add any more freaking of these things. Spend a grand, spend a grand, you get a monocle. What's a monocle? And a top hat. A top hat yeah. and a, a bottle of 100 year old brandy and a golden pistol. Booze. Oh, wow. Join uh, the High Admirals Club. Quick, quick question. So, let's say when there's like permadeath, uh, does your next character still have all the like ships from the old one? I'm sure you just do some of the. Because I do some the of the. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be there. there's gonna be like reputation, right? And you're gonna lose a reputation with that character, but or some of it, not ships? all of it. I'm you sure. Yeah. The ships. Don't lose your ships, never. They're part okay. of your account. Gotcha. That's what insurance is for. Well. Come on now! Don't do that to me. I upgraded, I got rid of my Gladiator, got the Aquila, but that has LTI on it, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, that's a good deal. I kept the Sabre, kept the Super Hornet, they're, they're good enough. Um, the f I like that the um, A2 and the... Uh, the long range exploration ship can hold some of these fighters inside of them. Which one's weird? The A2 and the Karak, they can hold, like, the A2 can That's hold weird. a ground vehicle while the Karak can, can hold a fighter vehicle. Be... The Karak can only hold a snub, That's, and it comes with one. Complete. It's not meant to hold a fighter. The Javelin can hold a Warden, and the Idris can hold uh, four Gladiuses. I thought the Gladiator say. was going to be on the, on the uh, Javelin. What's that? I thought the Gladiator was going to be on the Javelin as a light bomber. Now, um, because of how the Javelin got a bit bigger, it, it's actually going to come with a Harbinger. Well, it doesn't come with one, but it's going to be able to fit up to a Warden. Um, and it comes, both the Javelin and the Idris, I believe, come with an MPVU. Does a snub only have one player? I'm um, one. We don't know the snub for the Carrick yet. It's called a Pisces, but we haven't seen anything about it. Okay. Can you, like, take it out and replace it with something else, just like other ships? Yeah, but you have to, it, right now with their modeling, the size. You're cutting out. You cut out. You said right now what they're modeling and then. Argh. Sounds like you might have went offline. I just invited him. Maybe it crashed him. Yeah, probably crashed him. Whoops. Quick! Let's take his retaliator. <laughs> Damn, that ship is big.